Hey everyone, it's Jenny and I'm back with another video. So as you can tell from the thumbnail, we have a Tom Ford Vox Box. So yes, this is considered a luxury Vox Box. I'm trying to think if I've gotten any other like luxury like this expensive. I guess the, uh, was it the Shiseido? That was one I got. I really enjoyed that. And... I'm thinking of the ones here lately. Not Nothing quite as expensive as this. So this is the Tom Ford. And like I said, this is the Influencer box. If you're not familiar with Influencer, they are a platform where you go on and you can see all types of reviews from food, makeup, skincare, hair care, uh, clothing, um, just a whole range of stuff that is on there that people, you know, actually go on to review. And when you sign up, you have the opportunity to be sent free items to try out. Yes, I said free, F-R-E-E, -E, free. And these are called Vox Boxes. So, let's see what's in of the box. Da, 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 da. See black like tissue paper. So here's the little card. So this is the Tom Ford Lost Cherry fragrance or ED Parfum. So and this is actually this paper right here actually has Tom it says Tom Ford on it. I don't know if you can actually see that. So that's fancy schmancy. And this is what it looks like in the packaging. So, there you go, Tom Ford in the red packaging. So, let's just, um, let's unveil what the bottle looks like. Ta-da! And this is the actual packaging. I do like it. It looks sleek. It looks nice. You would want to put this on your vanity or wherever, you know, if you, you know, like to display that type of stuff. And then on the top here, this says uh, Tom Ford. And then on the bottom just has that it's an ED perfume and it's 1.7 fluid ounces or uh, 50 milliliters. So I do like the packaging. And this is in the, sh the shade. This is in the fragrance lost cherry so i do wish that on the packaging i do like it and everything they would have put a, a hint of cherry somewhere which i get the red packaging i totally get that but like even like up here at the top somewhere like even just a little you know like little two cherries on there i thought that i thought that would have like amped it up a little bit so this retails this bottle right here the 1.7 fluid ounce or the uh, 50 milliliters this actually retails for 368 dollars 368 dollars that is crazy expensive to me like that is super expensive I don't think I've ever spent that amount of money on a perfume. I don't think I've even spent over $100 on a perfume. Now, um, knowing that, I had looked up, you know, I knew I was getting this. I had looked up how much it was going to cost. And my first reaction was like, I bet I'm going to hate this. It's expensive. It's probably going to smell too overpowering. It's going to give me a migraine. I'm not going to like it. You know, I kept focusing on all this negative. Well, let me just tell you, I absolutely love 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 the way that this smells love the way that this smells four sprays i do two on the wrist area and two on the body area and that seems to last all day all through my work day but it's not so much that people are like oh my gosh you know like when somebody wears really like you can tell they've sprayed too much perfume or cologne and you're like did they really, did they really use that much? Was that necessary? How, how did they not smell that? How was that not doing something to their sinuses or giving them a blasting headache? So I do have to say that um, this fragrance is not overpowering. So let me read on the card here. Lost Cherry's candy-like gleam of exotic black cherry and liqueur touched with teasing almond gives way to a Turkish 
rose and jasmine sambic blend that penetrate the senses. The full-bodied perfume attains fantasy-like levels of insatiability. That is quite a description <laughs> for perfume. Um, the keynotes in it are black cherry, tonka bean, and almond. And I do agree, you do get that Turkish rose and jasmine, but it's not too much. It's not like going to hit you and be too much because I don't like a whole lot of florals. I like more um, fruity uh, and somewhat spicy and citrusy fragrances. But this right here, just it hits it. It is so good. Like I said, I wanted to be the one to to just rip it and tear it apart and tear it to shreds. But thank you, Influencer, for sending me this. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Um, this is considered uh, warm and spicy. Like I said, great for fall, even for winter. Of course, you could wear this any season. You know, fragrances, you know, people, fragrances are just one of those things that it, it, to each individual person, you know, has its own meaning and if you like it or if you don't. So love this. Um, it's a layerable, so you could wear this with other fragrances, and it's also unisex. I do think this does have a little bit more feminine smell to it, but I definitely could see it where it could be unisex. Um, there are four different sizes, so this size is a 50 milliliter for $368, which that's a car payment, you know, to a lot of the, you know, working class people out there. $216 for the 30 milliliter $499 for a hundred milliliters and then like the little mini that you can get or like a, yeah you know a little mini is $75. Um, I have a feeling this will last me a while. Um, would I possibly repurchase? That is a good possibility but it would probably only be the mini because I cannot see myself purchasing that you know purchasing that perfume for that much money. Even though I do love it, I think it smells great. Were you in this Vox box? I think they had another Tom Ford fragrance. So let me know, did you get this one? Did you get that one? Have you ever tried Tom Ford fragrances? What's your favorite fragrance? Leave it down in the comments below. Let me know. Are you signed up for Influencer? I'll leave the description in um, the box down below on how to sign up, all that good stuff. Hopefully you give this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you here. I upload every Monday, or at least I try to. I've been pretty consistent here as of late. So with that, I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.